Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Char Daisy. Thank you for watching and if you are new, welcome. Um, if you're wondering why I have on makeup and earrings with the sweater, it's because I just took pictures but I didn't want to record in what I had on because it was like a, I don't know, I just like I would have had to like fidget with it too much. So that's that. Um, today this video is just about choices. Um, I haven't been that consistent with my sunday talks which i'm trying to do better with but um i have a video i just don't have to edit it and i'm kind of at odds like if i like it so that's why i haven't posted it and then um just like life just kind of gets in the way sometimes but i'm working on creating like more time in my day so anyway so this video is about choices and let's get in Okay, so I'm going to start this off reading this quote. Um, I actually heard it from my week, my week Teal. She owns Crowbox. She has a podcast and she said this quote in there. And, I, and I've heard this quote a long time ago, but it's very relevant to what I want to talk about today. Um, so the quote is, you choose, you choose, you choose. You choose to give away your love. You choose to have a broken heart. You choose to give up. You choose to hang on. You choose to react. You choose to feel insecure. You choose to feel anger. You choose to fight back. You choose to have hope. You choose to be naive. You choose to ignore your intuition. You choose to ignore advice. You choose to look the other way. You choose to not listen. You choose to be stuck in the past. You choose your perspective. You choose to blame. You choose to be right. You choose your pride. You choose your games. You choose your ego. You choose your paranoia. You choose... Sorry, you ever like read a word too many times and you feel like it's not a word? That's how I'm feeling about choose right now. But anyways, you choose to compete, you choose your enemies, you choose your consequences, you choose, you choose, you choose, you choose. However, you are not alone. Generations of women in your family have chosen. Women all around the world have chosen. We all have chosen at one point in our lives. We stand behind you now screaming, choose to let go, choose dignity, choose to give, forgive yourself. Choose to forgive yourself, choose to forgive others. Choose to see your value and choose to show the world you're not a victim. Choose to make us proud. I really like that. It's not like completely what I'm getting at, but I just feel like I had a conversation with my brother recently and he was just talking about um, things that he wants to change in his life. My brother is 24 and he was talking about I can't really say exactly what just because it involves some personal things, but one aspect of it was that he felt like he he's 24 and he was like i'm turning 25 this year um i just don't want to look back at my life and be like dang i just wasted all this time and i'm like absolutely you're absolutely correct i feel like so many people that i know are choosing to waste time and i'm like at the end of the day you have to recognize that you're choosing this and i think that when you become an adult, I feel like you can't really blame all your childhood stuff onto your present day person. Because even though there are some things in my life where I'm like, I know that's because of how this happened when I was younger. At the end of the day, I'm like, okay, I'm choosing to recognize that. And I can either choose to keep on doing whatever I'm doing and not doing anything about it. Or I can choose to do something about it and choose to change my life. So... Um, for him, I was like, okay, so you 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 see that you aren't living how you aspire to be living. What are you going to do about it? And I think that people forget that even when you don't make a choice because he has like he can just let life pass him by. He can t continue to do that. And I'm like, even when you don't make a choice, life chooses for you and you wake up and you're like, dang, I'm whatever age I am. I haven't done anything. What now? So basically, I'm saying this like. Make sure you're choosing to try, like make sure you're choosing to like really shoot for the stars. Even me, I'm 22, but I feel like someone could look at me and say, who are you to even say that? Like you're 22, you're not living your, your whatever dreams. You aren't living out your dreams, but I'm like, to some extent I am. I came from nothing and I chose to go to an elite school when i saw my friends going i was like okay let me do that too i chose to go to an elite school high school i chose to go to college like every day i feel like i'm choosing because i'm like if i don't i know what my life could be i see people that are literally letting life pass them by and these are people that i'm related to you know what i mean so i see people doing that every day but i also see very successful people like within my work and the clients that i have and like 
I just I know successful people and I know that even if they are from a different walk of life or they're a different ethnicity it's still like they're choosing every day to still be getting money they're choosing every day to still put their best foot forward so I'm like why would I not do that why would I not even like try and choose to you know do this really honestly at this point everything in my life is just some like big like this is a wild dream at this point because who like who really knew that or who even people like outside of myself who really knows that they can accomplish a dream obviously you can believe in yourself 100 percent, but unless you're out there every day trying and failing and trying and even after you fail like you choose to keep keep fucking trying like make sure you keep trying don't just be giving up stuff just because you feel like your industry is oversaturated or you feel like how can i be sitting in this table with all these wealthy white people and i'm just this little black girl like no even if you're at that table you got you you everything you chose got you there so just make sure you don't let your self-doubt or people other people's insecurities um, don't let people put that onto you because and don't let yourself put that onto you because at the end of the day if you don't wake up every day and like choose to want to be better your life will not be better and that's just the that's that's real life um, I see it every day like I I know I see it every day and I'm like every day even though I am working a full-time job that's in my field and like I make enough money to sustain myself um, I'm still choosing to make sure I'm reading, like learning random things, reading other stuff. I'm making sure that I'm doing yoga every day so I can like master wellness in my life. I'm I'm choosing to like even after work, work on freelance stuff or like trying to find freelance opportunities, just trying to really um, expand my network and expand like my who I am and like what I'm trying to do. So every day i'm choosing those things and just make sure that you are also choosing what's going to get you ahead in life or what's going to get you where you need to be so that's the end of my little sunday talks even though it's monday we're going to pretend it's sunday um i hope you all have a great week make sure you make some choices that get you ahead anyways um yeah so have a good rest of your week bye